First, allow me to welcome you, Mr. Simon Shirtliff, the British Ambassador to Yemen here in Al Arabiya Channel. Uh, regarding the crisis in Yemen, uh, UK has been playing a vigorously role in uh, trying to help achieve a political solution in Yemen. In Kuwait, there was almost an agreement before the Houthis rejected it at the last moment. Is London ready to resume this coordination with U.S. and the U.N. Special Envoy to try to reach uh, this solution and the end for this crisis? Thank you. It's very nice to be here. Um, we have never stopped uh, working tirelessly for a political settlement in Yemen. Mm -hmm. So you're right, uh, the Kuwait talks last year ended in failure um, and uh, that was a great disappointment to all parties concerned, I'm sure. Um, but ever since then, just as before and during, uh, the British government has worked very closely with Ismail Olchik, the UN Special Envoy, um, with the United States, with the coalition countries, with all of the different parties concerned inside Yemen and elsewhere for this pol political settlement. The crisis is Yemeni-inspired and the solution must therefore be Yemeni-inspired. So it is not for us, mm -hmm. uh, any of the international actors, to prescribe exactly what the solution will be. Um, but it is very much our role to encourage mm -hmm. and coerce all of the different parties uh, to uh, come to the table with an open mind. Every time uh, the, the things come to like a serious political uh, settlement, a serious uh, achievement to this uh, political settlement, the Houthis, the Houthi rebels, uh, escalate their attacks, and especially in Saudi Arabia uh, territories. How do you see this policy and do you regard it as like evidence, another evidence for the Houthis waging a proxy war against KSA? By definition, it is very unhelpful for any party to escalate yeah. uh, with military, further military attacks um, on the basis of a response to anything. So um, we, as our Prime Minister has said often, uh, take uh, Gulf security extremely seriously. Gulf security is our security and so um, we understand fully the, uh, the, 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 the impact on Saudi Arabia national security when missiles go over the border. Um, and we call upon all parties to de-escalate as much as possible, uh, as quickly as possible, so that uh, we can get back to the table. But the threats are not only on ground. It's like uh, regarding the maritime navigation. They are threatening by uh, bombing, by missiles. How will the uh, international group G18 deal with this situation? It is deeply unhelpful for the Houthis to be engaging, to be responding uh, it, through military uh, means, whether it by, be by sea or by land. Um, it is uh, perhaps even worse uh, on, to some degree by sea because uh, that threatens shipping as mm -hmm. it goes through the Red Sea into Hodeida port yeah. in particular. Clearly if there are uh, maritime attacks going on uh, at, at this uh, moment then it, it threatens commercial confidence and indeed the humanitarian, the vital humanitarian supplies going through Hodeida. So um, this is an entirely unhelpful uh, tactic. Uh, regarding the negotiations, uh, the UN Special Envoy, uh, Mr. Ismail Wild Sheikh Ahmad, recently visited Iran. So does it mean that he reached an impasse in his negotiations between the legitimate uh, leadership and the uh, Houthi rebels? And could be that the uh, solution for this crisis start from Iran? It is the job of all international actors, including the United Nations, to try and encourage mm -hmm. all of the different uh, parties to come back to the table. Uh, in the case of Iran, well, this is not the first time that Ismail has visited Iran uh, during his over two years now in the job. Um, and indeed, we encourage him to do exactly this, to visit as many of the different uh, relevant mm -hmm. partners as possible. And Iran could play uh, a helpful role here. Uh, there are reports that Iran um, is playing an unhelpful role in supporting militarily uh, the Houthi rebels and this goes against the uh, United Nations Security Council Resolution 2216 so of course we are not in favour of that at all but uh, if they were to play a helpful role in encouraging all of the parties back to the table then why not? We want to thank you Mr Ambassador once again for your presence here. Thank you very much indeed.